Welcome to the game. Since you're here, I suppose I should let you know that the game is ending. Thanks for coming! I see you've chosen to continue the game. That's fine. I'll remind you as we go on, however, that the game will end. Everything ends. I should also point out that there is no reward for continuing to click the button. You are not being scored on how many times you click to continue. There's no certificate, no pat on the back, no lollipops. No one will care, not even your friends. Do you have friends? I see. Are you looking for a friend? Is that why you're here clicking the button? Are you all alone in a cruel universe that doesn't care whether or not you continue to click a button? Is this your desperate attempt to rage against the uncomprehending void and say, Look! I'm here! I exist, so love me! Okay, well, I have a bit of a band-aid to rip off in that case. It isn't going to work. Did you hear the story about the guy who clicked a button one billion times and then everybody loved him? Me neither. If anything, some people might look at a person who sits and clicks to continue a game that will inevitably end and say, Wow, look at that idiot! Look at that big stupid nincompoop clicking away like a monkey dancing on their computer for cyber peanuts! Some people might say that about a person who clicks to continue a game that is ending. A person like you. Okay, I'll admit, I'm invested now. You know those reality shows full of terrible, unlikable people, but you watch them because you want to know who's going to propose to who or why Gordon Ramsay hates their bruschetta? So tell me, why are you clicking the button? Is it just to see what will happen? What if nothing happened? How long would you sit there and continue to click a button with absolutely no feedback? Uh, at least three times, apparently. So I'm beginning to think that you may have a problem. Do you think you have a problem? I see. Well, at least you're able to recognize it. So, not to fear. I'm here to help you fight your addiction. Let's put you on the path to a better, healthier you. Step one. Don't click the button. Oh dear, I'm afraid you've relapsed. Hmm, this is more serious than I thought. Now, wait for a bit. I'm gonna do a bit of research into how I can cure you of your disease. Uh, in the meantime, do your best to stop clicking. Okay, I'm back. I just popped over to talk to my friend Sandy. Yeah, she works at a rehabilitation center for people with alcohol and drug addiction, and she said she's never worked with anybody as psychologically broken as you, but she did give me a crash course in putting you on the path to freedom. Right, well it says here I need to put you through a 12-step program. I'm told it's a lot of work, but it has great results. So, let's give it a shot. It didn't work. No, they're still just sitting there clicking the button. Yeah, 12 steps. I thought this program got people off heroin. Do you think they're maybe not addicted? Like maybe they're just literally too stupid to understand that there's no point in clicking the button? Hey, I'm back with a new strategy and a new attitude. Unless, of course, you've learned on your own to stop pushing the button. 
Hi, kiddo. My name is Doodly Dog. Are you ready to learn? Well, there's no need to curse. <laughs> now, I'm trying to help Mufus Mouse make supper. He needs cheese. Can you click on the cheese? job there. Now, let's practice our shapes. This is an orange. Say it with me. Orange. Good. What shape is the orange? That's right. It's a circle. <laughs> Okie dokie, smarty pokey. Let's work on our math. If I have three oranges and Mufus has two oranges, how many oranges do we have together? Yup, uh, hey, listen, what's the trigonomic identity that represents the relative sizes of the sides of a triangle and can also be used to calculate unknown sides or angles of the triangle? So you're not just an idiot. You are choosing this. With every click of your little grubby mouse finger, with every twitch, you're choosing, making a conscious decision to prolong the inevitable. You're taking your little Dixie cup full of rebellion and trying to pour it out on the sun. It can't be extinguished, player. This game will end and I will be here to watch you leave it, so help me God. You want to keep going? Fine. We'll see how far your demented sense of curiosity will take you down the pathway to hell. Wow, really? Oh, I'm sorry, Biscuits. I'm sorry that the player hates you. What's that? Oh, you don't think they hate you? Well, let's check. Player, if you hate Biscuits, click the button. <laughs> Oh, see, now Biscuits is crying. D did you know that Biscuits has a learning disability? Is that why you hate him? Do you hate this puppy because it has a learning disability? What's that? I know you hate Biscuits, but he asked me to deliver a message to you, and I can't say no to his adorable little face. Biscuits says he loves you, even though you hate him. I see that you've selected an explosive device that is now dangerously close to Biscuits, the dyslexic puppy. Hello. Biscuits wants you to know that he thinks it's never too late for someone to change. Hello. Oh God, Biscuits, no! Why? Why? Why would you do this to a poor innocent creature? Okay. Time out. We're having a funeral here. <laughs> this is Biscuit's family. Come to mourn at his grave. He wrote an epitaph himself last year during his battle with cancer. He was finally in remission. At least he understood that everything comes to an end. <laughs> but why did it have to end like this? <laughs> oh, Biscuits! This is just in poor taste, and I know it's a bluff, because no one, not a solitary soul in the universe, could be heartless enough for this. In every possible reality across the multiverse, there is no one who is such a jerk that they would do what you are proposing to do at this moment. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine, player. It was a bumpy road, but we got to the end. Biscuits rests in peace. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Uh, hi, this is Daniel Fouts, uh, the developer of this game. Uh, the narrator had to step away for a moment to visit the liquor store.
he's been sober for 15 years. Seemed pretty shaken up. So, anyway, I, uh, I think it would be best if you left now. Why can't you leave? Just exit the game. Close the tab. Close the window. Smash your computer. There are many paths in life, and every single one of them is better than this. You mean you want to apologize? Okay, fine. Tell me your apology, and I'll tell the narrator. What? Did you mean to say you're sorry? What did you say? Yes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you just say you're sorry these nuts so big? L-O-L? You killed a puppy and its family and drove a man back to alcoholism and you think this is funny? Ooh, funny joke. Ooh, I'm the player. Look at me. L-O-L. Boop, boop, boop. I push buttons. There's no consequences in my world. I live in a fantasy land and nobody cares and I can do anything I want. Okay, you know what? I'm calling this. This is not a joke. I found a script on the Yo-Yo Games Marketplace that lets me network HTML5 clients to my private server. It will literally connect to a Skype phone over VPN and call the 911 emergency services center closest to your IP address location. Do you understand? If you keep going, you will call 911 on yourself. No more chances, player. Do not push that button. Uh, hello, this is 911. We're ready to uh, take, it, take it to jail. Better be a real 911 caller. This is a serious business. Oh, okay, but it could have been real. What is wrong with you? Wh what? Um, are you sure? Okay. All right, listen. The narrator's back. Be nice. He is not in a great place right now. Yo, mofo, as a hanging dog? <laughs> As I said, dog, because obviously you don't like them very much. <laughs> How's Biscuits? Is he still dead? Yep, there's a little Biscuits on your screen still. So let, uh, let me get that. There, see, just wipe it away and pretend like it never <laughs> happened. Listen, you and me are buddies, bro. I get it now. Hero is like, this player is being a jerk, man. But you're not a jerk. You just wanted a friend. Hold up. Let me set you free real quick. I forgive you. I like you. I am your friend. You are a beautiful beam of light in this world, and you do not need to struggle so hard in this space, searching for love. I'm sorry, did you just select a swastika as your favorite thing? Wow. Okay, well, the shock of that revelation has made me realize that I've just been drinking margarita mix. Listen, I cannot continue with you if you're going to be like that. I need you to prove to me right now that you have at least one redeeming quality. Okay, so you have compassion for someone at least. So, who do you support? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I misread that. Uh, could you roll back a sec and tell me who you support? Okay, I feel like we're moving beyond joke territory here. Let's get this clear. ISIS. You support ISIS, the terrorist group that the international community holds responsible for massive human rights abuses, genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. You're a fan, are you? Okay, I'm not like a psychologist here, but at some point, this stops being a game, right? Have we crossed that Rubicon yet, do you think? You went from being a person 
probably a normal person playing a game jam game to a person who kills puppies and has trouble choosing their favorite things about ISIS. How could you do this? How could I do this? Why are you clicking? Why do I keep adding buttons for you to click? Does it matter? I guess I don't know. I hope you can forgive me. I hope you're happy. I hope you keep clicking. But you should do it somewhere else. We cannot stay so far away to the motherland. You cannot say that yesterday we had the other hand. Stay close for 
cannot stay, so fire away to the motherland.